What's the reception been like for this album? Slingshot David, in the stores, long time coming. Bro, people are calling my album a classic. Straight up, that's what people are saying. I would never be that cocky to call my own album a classic, but people are calling it a classic, you heard me? My man Chuck at All Hip Hop, my man Shaheem Reed, you heard me? Like, there's so many people in the streets, fans, fans, they calling it a classic. Yeah, uh, I think I can attest to that. I reviewed the album. Yes, you did. You got a... 4.2. Out of five. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, and I, I, and I, don't, I don't give away those type of ratings just lightly. I ain't mad at that. Um, yeah, and I was looking for the parental advisory sticker. What, what's going on? Kill a gangster? No cuss words this time yeah, around? Yeah, nah, no, 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 no cuss words, man, because, you know, I got in this game to be different. You How feel hard me? is that? You know, like, it's easy to rhyme nigga with trigger, yeah. or, you know, everybody gets mad, everybody stubs their toe, everybody misses a wide open three pointer every now and yeah. then, you know, cuss words fly and everything. So, but instead of saying, I say, pluck, you hear me? Instead, yeah, instead of saying motherfucker, I'm mother plucker, you know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, man, that's some bull skit. I, that's what I do. I say, that's some bull skit, you hear me? Nah, dog, like, honestly, I'm just trying to be better as a human being. And with that being said, I looked at the things, what are my weak areas in life? What are my areas I like to improve on? One of them was, I wanted to alleviate cursing out of my vocabulary. I wanted to pull it out of my vocabulary. Off the microphone, not not as a rapper, but just as a human. Once I mastered that as a human, it became natural for me not to curse in my raps. You wrestle with a lot of uh, a lot of topics, a lot of demons, a lot of positivity, a lot of negativity on the album. You know, what was the toughest song for you to make on Slingshot Day? Yeah, the toughest song for me to make was the intro, bro. It's called Destiny. That was the third time I had done the intro, right? Real talk, though, I started crying when I was writing that song. Not intentionally, though, like. I can't name the last time I was crying, but I started crying and I think it's because it was so much that I know had been building up in terms of me trying to get this album out, in terms of me pushing to keep my vision and my life story intact so I could put this out there for the people. I don't know how long I got on earth, dog. So what if this is the last album I ever put out? I want to make sure that it's reflective of my life experiences, my journey, you feel me? What about the song uh, Devil's Playground? You know, that's, that's a really weighty, Lady topical, yeah, topical trap. You know, yeah. like it, it shows how you wrestle with being in the mainstream. And, mm -hmm. you know. and they talk about a dude that tried to sleep with me. Um, so that really happened. That wasn't just yeah. a metaphor or anything. Nah, that wasn't a metaphor, my brother. And it's somebody who we know. And that's someone we know. Yeah, it's somebody who if you keep up and you keep up with music a lot. So it's somebody, <laughs> yeah, bro. And like, I, how, how does that how does that happen? Like, like how how does that conversation? Because somebody feel like they can play with you. When somebody feel like they can play with you, like you need them, it's all about leverage in the music industry. Somebody feel like they have the leverage. Oh, D1 really wants to work with me. D1 came all the way to this city. D1 is actually crashing in my crib right now because he don't even have that much bread at the moment. And I, you know, I opened my doors to him. I got all the leverage. So D1 really want me to work with him. You know what? I think I'm feeling myself today. I think I'm gonna try D1 and see, yeah, literally bro. And that's how, that's how that type of stuff will happen. So that's when you just gotta let a little boy know, like, dog, you, you can't play with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll get real, real quick in here with you. You feel me? So that's, that's something that I went through and I was like, you know what? Like, they got some clowns in this game and I need y'all to know that. They got some clowns in this game who try to play you. And that's why the, 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 the song is called The Devil's Playground. Cause I'm not the only person that ever went through something like that. I guarantee you I'm Yeah, you hear it. You don't hear you don't hear you hear it from the female perspective more often yeah. than the male perspective. Yeah, and maybe because I'm not a gangster and I don't roll around, you know what I'm saying, and I ain't packing that iron on me or something like that. Or a lot of places, you know, my nickname is the one man army. Man, look, I'm me, bro. Let David off 6601 Dwyer Road in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm me, I dress how I dress, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I act how I act, I rap how I rap, and people love it. How you rap, how you rap? Let's talk about uh, the Sway Five Fingers of Death freestyle. Mm. Uh, that was a, uh, that was a, I mean, if, you, if you've been following D1, you know, you obviously know you can spit, you can rap, you can get down, you can get busy, be versatile and everything. But for a lot of people, that was, you know, I was reading some of the comments online and on, YouTube, on the YouTube page, you know, that was awakening for a lot of folks. I went in there that morning, not even knowing I was gonna do Five Fingers of Death. Like Sway said on the intro, they've been taking it easy on rappers lately, you know? They give you one beat, let you rap as long as you want on that one beat. Or if they switch the beat, they're not switching tempos and all that on you. Man, they threw it all at me, you know what I'm saying? But I went in there, boy, I was so excited. I was like, yo, when the first beat came on and it's the freeway, even though we do it, that's when I knew, 
is about to get ugly because that's one of my top five beats of all time as far as hip hop. So when I heard that, I was just like, oh, game over. Go in, you feel me? Man, I came in this game and I paid my dues. Million dollar hustler, I'm making major moves. I'm Tupac, MLK, and Detroit Red. But all the girls say I look like Chris Brown with dread. Ah, everybody got a gift and a passion. Rapping is my gift, so you could call this gift rapping. I switch fast and elevate without warning. You can't stop this heat, my verse is like global warming. Couldn't afford Jones growing up on my block. Now instead of Nike shoes, I buy Nike stock. Yeah, I stack my paper, I invest it. Too bad we've been psychic. Psychologically molested Ballin' like I was pippin' Flossin' like it's my mission All glory to God He put me in this position Partner if you ain't winning, In the hood we don't listen Think I ain't getting money I would say you was trippin' All of this legal though Ain't no flippin' chickens in kitchens Hard to fit in my pocket So pardon me if I'm trippin' Pardon me if I'm trippin' I'm getting out of breath But I'ma have to kill The five fingers of death Cause that's why I'm put here man I was the same way When I was a teacher my students used to know, man, Mr. Augustine class is lit. You know, this man is serious. We're going to laugh, we're going to joke, we're going to have fun. He might rap for us, but this man is passionate. You know, you, you brought that mentality to the rap game. You know, the song Sally Maybach took you all over the globe with, uh, you know, with financial literacy messages. When I made this song Sally Maybach, it was because the joy I felt the day I finished paying my student loans off. Woo! That was something that there's not many things that compare to that feeling. And I'm like, anytime something moves me that much, whether it's a negative or a positive feeling, I need to make art. I need to create art about that feeling, that moment right there. So that's when I knew, yeah, I gotta make a song about how good it felt to pay these loans off. Just so happens that millions of people could relate to that song, you feel me? It literally turned into a viral hit for me. And now, at this point, I just completed my second year of the D1 Knowledge for College tour in partnership with Sally Mae. You heard me? How gangster is that? Just gave out about $200,000 in college scholarships to kids all over the country. Uh, what do you hope people gravitate, you know, like you said, you want some diehard fans. What do you hope people, what is uh, the mission vision behind absorbing Slingshot David? These yeah, days? man, I want people to listen to my album to realize one thing. We all have Goliaths in our lives, bro. Poverty, racism, discrimination, violence depression, anxiety, all these things, bro, that try to hold all of us back from living our best life. We all have these Goliaths. The key to defeating your Goliaths, just like with David, he had to find his slingshot and use it. You have to find your slingshot. That's what I want people to take from listening to the album. Yo, D1 found his slingshot. I'm using hip hop. You know, I'm using hip hop to defeat the Goliaths that exist in my life, bro. I am. I want people to listen to the album and figure out how, how they can tap into what their slingshot is. And then it's not enough to just find it, but also to channel it the proper way and to use your slingshot the proper way to defeat your Goliaths. Don't use your slingshot to defeat your own people. Don't use your slingshot to kill yourself. That's what a lot of us are doing with our talents. We know what it is. Imagine that, dog. Imagine how crazy would it be? Like, oh, here go this slingshot, and then you just beating yourself in the head with it. It would look crazy, but that's how we look when we use our talents to kill ourselves. Yo. That was a filling interview, you know, Soul Food Sunday's D1. Yeah. Appreciate you, but love you. Let's get some real soul food. Man, I'm trying to rub, dog. Hey, man, we're in Comfort LA. You guys, make sure y'all check it out. We're about to eat, we're about to slam. Believe that. Oh, it smells good. <laughs>